In this video, we will learn how to rationalize the denominator when we have uh, fractional exponents like this. Now, rationalizing the denominator has to do with um, removing all radicals from the denominator. Remember, for example, that b to the two-thirds power is the same thing as, um, see, this is power over root. So this 3 means the cube root, and I could say b squared. So there is a, a radical in there. So um, mathematicians uh, have agreed that one thing you can do um, that is sometimes helpful is to get rid of all the radicals from the denominator. So how do we do that when we have exponents that are fractions? Well, um, you need to multiply by some version of the number 1. You know, like if I were to multiply by b over b, that wouldn't change anything. Uh, because b over b has a value of 1. So what can I do? Um, so looking at the b to the 2 thirds power, what could I multiply by that would sort of cancel out the fraction so I wouldn't have any more uh, exponent there? So if I've got b to the 2 thirds power, I'm just going to bring it down so we can look at it separately. Focus on b to the 2 thirds power. All right, what could I multiply by that would cancel this out? What about b to the one-third power? What would that do? Uh, remember when you multiply bases, um, what do you do with the exponents? I'm hoping that you remember that you need to add the exponents. Uh, again, quick example, if I had n to the third power times n to the fifth power, what would that be? that would be n to the eighth power. So you see that we add the exponents. Now if I add these exponents because of the way I chose them, then I would have b to the, well what's two-third plus one-third? Well that would be three-thirds, right? And three-thirds is just one. So that would just equal b. So pick the a new exponent to be whatever it would take to add up to 1. All right? You want these two to add up to equal 1. Um, so coming back to this problem, so we've seen that um, I could, to get rid of the 2 thirds, I could multiply by b to the 1 third power. Now what about the c? Well, I have one-fifth, so I'm going to multiply by c. Now, what fraction would it take to complete one? All right, one-fifth. How about four-fifths? Okay, because one-fifth plus four-fifths, that would be five-fifths. And so that would be one. So this is what I would need to multiply by. Now, of course, I need to do the same thing in the numerator. All right, so I need to do b to the one-third power and c to the four-fifths power. Okay, so um, then in the denominator, just as we planned, all right, two-thirds plus one-third is three-thirds, which is just one. So that'll just leave b. When I multiply these c's together, I wind up adding those exponents. So that's one-fifth plus four-fifths is five-fifths which is just 1, so I'll have c. Now in the numerator, I'm just going to copy all of this down. So I'm going to wind up, uh, I still have a to the 3 fourths power, but now I also have b to the 1 third power and c to the 4 fifths power. Okay, so that is how you rationalize the denominator. Notice, no more radicals. All right, so go ahead and uh, pause the video. And here's a problem for you to try on your own. So pause the video, try to do this problem, and then you can run the video to see how you did. All right, I'm going to assume that you paused the video and that you've already done this problem. So now I'm just going to run through the solution quickly. Let's see, do I need to do anything with the x? No, I actually don't, okay, um, because this is not a radical. x to the eighth power, I don't need to get rid of this eight or anything. 
uh, because there is no denominator, there's no root. Um, on the other hand, uh, y to the 8 over 11 power. Uh, if I wrote this in the other form, um, 11 is a root. So this would be the 11th root and then y to the 8th power. So I've got to do something about this one. So uh, f don't worry about the x. Just do the y because it has the uh, denominator there. It has the fraction. Okay, so what would it take? I have 8 elevenths um, plus 3 elevenths. Okay, if I multiply these together, I'd have to add an 8 plus 3 is 11. So that would make 11 elevenths, uh, which would just be 1. Uh, I need to do the same thing in the numerator. So this has to be y to the 3 elevenths. So that's why the final answer will be 3 y to the 3 elevenths power over. Now I still have my x to the 8th power. Nothing happened to it. But I did my y's, and like I said, um, when you multiply, you have to add these exponents. 8 elevenths plus 3 elevenths is 11 elevenths, which is just 1, and I don't need to write it at all. So that's the answer to that problem. Okay? Um, here's one more problem for you to try. Again, pause the video. Try to do this problem by yourself and then um, run the video to check your answer. Okay, I'm going to assume that you pause the video. This time, all three of these variables have a fractional power. So they all represent radicals. So um, I, need to, I need to get rid of all of these fractions from the denominator. Okay, looking at the cube. What exponent do I need to cancel out the 1 fourth? Well, I'm going to need 3 fourths, right? Because 1 fourth plus 3 fourths equals 4 fourths, which is just 1. What about the r? This exponent needs to be 1 half, because of course 1 half plus 1 half is a whole. What about the s? What fractional exponent would it take to, to make 1? Well, I have two-fifths, so I need another three-fifths to make one. Two-fifths plus three-fifths is five-fifths, which is just one. Okay, and of course we need to do the same thing in the numerator, so we're really just uh, multiplying by one. So in the numerator, I also need to do q to the three-fourths power, r to the one-half power, and s to the three-fifths power. All right, if I multiply the denominator, each one of these um, will turn out to be an exponent of 1 because that's how we picked them. So this will be just Q. Um, hold on, that looks like an A. Let me make it a little more Q-ish. So I'm, uh, this one will just be Q and R and S. All right, again, because 1 fourth plus 3 fourths is 4 fourths, that's 1. 1 half plus 1 half is 1 whole, which I don't need to put. 2 fifths plus 3 fifths is 5 fifths, which is 1. Um, now, up here in the numerator, I'm just going to put all this stuff together. So this is going to be 4, um, p to the fifth power, q to the 3 fourths power, r to the 1 half power, and s to the 3 fifths power. And that is how you rationalize the denominator using fractional exponents.